Hi, and welcome to another unboxing with me. Today, we have Gorillas. And I've been looking forward to this. Now, as I said in the previous video, I am currently in Norway. And I am currently going back to Denmark. And one of the reasons I haven't already left is because this was arriving and I didn't want to bother my friends with having to pick it up for me. Because this was ordered of uh, September. Yeah. So it's been a while. Um, well, I was a pre order, so it's not like I've been waiting for a delayed item or anything like that. So, yeah, so this is, um, this is the Gorillas brand new album. Um, and it's the box set. And if you like what you're seeing here, oh, I don't like the rattling sound. Oh well. Um, I was checking out. Um, well, that cover does not look like what I expected. Um, oh, well, that's okay. Um, no, but uh, I was just saying that um, I was uh, checking out uh, the gorillas. No, I wasn't. They sent me an email thanking me for buying this um, today, actually. Um, after I picked it up, so I don't know if they have like a... No, I don't think so. A warning that I picked it up at the post office. That's that's silly. Um, anyway, um, so they said thank you for buying this and supporting the band and etc. Uh, or supporting these cartoon characters. <laughs> um, and in as much as they did that, they also showed what was left or uh, available on the website and. It said that uh, this box set was very close to selling out. So if you guys get inspired by watching my video and want to buy this, then you should probably hurry up a little bit. So yeah, so here's the uh, the cover for the box set. So I've I bought a few box set over the years from Gorillas now, and um, this is the first time that uh, the cover of the box set is entirely different than the album. It was a rather dull image. I mean, and not as much as it's not as sharp and popping as much as I would have thought. Anyhow, so what goodies do we have this time? We have a notebook. And it's a well I suppose it's for our use with some random words here and there um, wasn't it the previous one they had it was like 2D's notebook so this is uh, the CD I'm gonna look at that later here is, yeah, okay, here we go. Oh, this is one of the reasons I love this was, was the vinyl um, 45. The, f oh, the, the previous box set was full of 45s. So, yeah, and um, what else do we have here? Then we have, oh yeah, okay, stickers. So avoiding using them will of course then make this box set worth a lot of money in the future. <clears throat> and here we go, with the art. Now, um, I have been a Blur fan since Britpop days. 
Um, but I, I've also been a fan of the artist since, I don't know, it must be quite, I think I must have discovered the artist before I discovered Blur, because I remember reading these AD 2000 comics in Denmark when I was a teenager, and I think Tank Girl was in that. Does it mean that noodle look a little weird? It's like she's a different human all of a sudden. Anyhow, here we go. Uh, this is more like I remember her. <laughs> I love these guys. Um, oh, come on. Yeah, this Murdoch holding this. So, here's Murdoch looking at the others. Alright, so, uh, what do we have here? Ooh, I think we have a poster. Yep, and it's a poster of just Murdoch, which, by the way, is my least favorite character. I find him incredibly annoying. I love that album where he wasn't a member of the band anymore, to be honest. Yeah, well, he's, he's got this whole voice thing, and ooh, and, uh, uh, just didn't do it for me. And the final is pink. Cool. I wasn't sure if the um, if the album was uh, uh, black in the um, in this box set. I've seen it mentioned um, several other places about various color varying variants. And here's the album cover. The vinyl, and as I said earlier, there's also the CD. Um, I, don't know, I thought the CD would be a little more substantial, or or was it just as flimsy as this in the previous box set as well? Um, I might. Yeah, I think I bought the CD separate because I, you know, I have the, uh, all the albums on the CD as well, so I might I might have to pick up one of those later on. So yeah, that's uh, that's the Cracker Island box set. It's um, it was the only box set that was on offer. Um, on a previous album. It, we had different levels of box sets, and I think I bought, uh, I think I bought the most expensive back then. It came with a little music box. It had uh, uh, 45s covering all all the songs in the album, as well as um, a few more substantial uh, things. But it was more expensive, I, I, probably twice as expensive as this. Um, so yeah, um, but um, I'm really always happy to buy uh, a, a, a special edition of whatever girl that comes up with, um, you know, within reason as far as price goes. I bought uh, 
anniversary um, set that came for the debut album, which is absolutely gorgeous. And um, I bought um, three albums back or four albums back. I bought that beautiful bind coffee table book with a with a record stuck in the sleeve. So yeah, if this um, like I said, if this inspires inspire you guys to want to pick this one up, um, like I said, look like you need to hurry because um, it said nearly sold out on the website. Um, so I hope you enjoyed having a little look at this with me. I'm going to have a hopefully great time listening to this. I have on purpose not listened to anything uh, uh, from this album yet, even though YouTube and uh, Spotify and everyone have tried to entice me into it, but I've been, yeah, I've been patient and diligently waiting for this to come out, and uh, so yeah, it'll, it'll be a, it'll be a new experience for me as well. And um, like I said, thanks for watching. Uh, if you liked what you see, please click uh, like and uh, please subscribe. It inspires me to make more of these, and uh, you know. Uh, make them more advanced. In the beginning, I wasn't even talking. Maybe we'll 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 develop something further along as we go. Thanks for watching. Take care.